Well, hello, boys and girls. It's when I feel like it o'clock. I'm Pearl of Wisdom, and you're listening to my NHL Pearl of Wisdom. Incongruence, is that the word? With BPAL Picks. BPAL Picks is my business. It's a Patreon that you can uh, go to in the link here uh, and uh, get fine picks daily. I'll hook you up for a free month if you take the top tier at 25 bucks. Uh, anyways, today though would not be a day that would make you want to rush over there. <laughs> We're going to be down today. Uh, Arizona is uh, losing 5-3 to the San Jose Sharks. We had we did have the over here, but we had Arizona for large pearls. I can't believe they're losing this game. Coronash. I think that's how you say his name. Third string goaltender for San Jose. Huge game for Arizona. And uh, I didn't see the beginning. I, did Kemper crap the bed here or what? I don't know. Anyways, um, we're going to get right to picks. I'm going to look at some of the comments that we had in the comment section. And then we'll get into all the fine picks in the land for all y'all. Okay? Here we go. Okay, Kenny, 3 p.m. Everyone see you soon. Kenny R. Kenny R. did come on to my show. I have a show that I do from 3 p.m. 5 to 5 p.m. Eastern, five days a week. Uh, just like I give you free picks five days a week. I give picks seven days a week if you're on a Patreon member, but five days a week for YouTube. Uh, he comes to the show and it is, well, the frolic was there. Thank you for Kenny. Kenny for coming. It was great. We get a whole bevy of people where we do picks is there as well. We talk about who's going to win. We talk about everything, hockey, trades, but, and we give, uh, people give their picks, which is basically the score of the game and who's going to win. And in doing so, they get points. And we're getting close to the end of the month. The winner of that is going to be able to uh, tell me what I have to do something for a month, a dare, within reason. Okay, Marcus Hunt had a fantastic weekend. Oh, he broke his finger, Marcus Hunt. Marcus Hunt is awesome. He comes on my live, to, uh, comes on the stream every once in a while as well. Sucks that he broke his finger, but he didn't stop playing hockey, did he? Because that's what hockey players do. They don't stop for broken fingers, right? Right, exactly. Uh and then he said, I'm making the show. Here's, see, and this is something you can do down there in the comment section. Put your uh, predictions down there. Tell us who you think is going to win and all that kind of stuff like that. And we'll banty back and forth. And, you know, we can help each other out. We can help each other out with our picks. Why not? That's what it's all about. We're starting a community of connection. Okay, let's look at our games for April 27th. Uh, Sabres versus the Rangers. For some reason, my soul is telling me Sabres here. I don't know why, but my head tells me Rangers all day. So I'm taking the Rangers in reg, and I'm going over. I just cannot back Tukarski. I can't. Sorry, Mr. Tukarski. I know you're watching, and I hope it doesn't make you feel bad on your insides. But I can't, okay? Just can't. So Rangers in reg over six. Uh, Pittsburgh versus Boston. Bergeron is Ber Bergeron is back. Apparently, uh, it says Rask is back. I don't know. Uh, how many times have I seen Rask supposed to be back and then he, and he's not back? Uh, but uh, oh, they almost scored an empty netter. Um, I'm, I'm assuming he's back. If he's back, I'm taking Boston. Money line and under five and a half. Detroit versus Columbus. I don't know what to do with this game. I'm going to PL Detroit. You're only getting 150, but this could go any way, anyhow. It's like the two worst teams and once almost the two worst teams in the league, top, bottom four. Merzlikens is in net. Bernier could steal the game like he's like he did. What was it? 51 shots he stopped last game. So you think that was against Dallas, I believe? 
you think Columbus can do better than that? I mean, probably Detroit. Maybe go the home team. I really don't know. Honestly, I don't know. Uh, Detroit PL is probably the safest bet on that. Islanders versus Washington. Now, Washington goes and plays on the road against the Islanders, wins the last two. Can the Islanders now win on the road after losing two at home? This seems like a voodoo series, um, but... Right now, I don't think I can back the Islanders. They're just, until I see them getting, uh, that was a weird series too, because the Island, or the Washington won one nothing and then won 6-3. So what team's going to show up here? It's supposed to be Varlamov versus Samsonov. I'm going the, uh, I'm going to go the Capitals and, uh, under five and a half. Uh, New Jersey versus Philadelphia. Um, again, two teams that are... New Jersey so beat up on defense, though. And I don't know why, but if we go over to uh, Daily Faceoff, they are saying that Wedgwood is going to be in net, or possible, is con projected. Why? I don't know. But if Wedgwood is in net, I'm taking Philadelphia. If Blackwood is in net, I'll have to rethink. But as it is, I'm going to take the Flyers ML over six. Wedgwood Wedge is just not a good goaltender. Uh, Tampa Bay versus Chicago. I'm fading Tampa Bay for the for the. I just I hate them. I hate them. I can't. They should should they be Chicago with Subban in net? Absolutely no doubt about it. No doubt about it. They should beat Chicago with Subban and Net all day long. Will they? Not if I pick them. Guaranteed they won't if I pick them. I don't know. Look, do whatever you want. I suppose I would take Tampa Bay, ML, for the crappy juice you're giving up on that. And uh, Subban's in Net, which should be. Over, I guess. Chicago's got some great percentage shooters. They'll probably. Vasilevsky hasn't been ringing it. Uh, doing, you know, stop and everything lately. Yeah, it's probably what I would do there. I'm just mad at Tampa Bay. <laughs> really what it is. I'm going back to uh, Florida, Nashville. I went to Nashville last night. I'm going Nashville again. Um, I just... I just like the flow of their team. I like the cut of their jib. Uh, Saros will be is playing fantastic. You're getting great uh, odds at two ten. Coyotes just scored again. This might not be over yet. I could be up today if, if they win. Uh, so we'll go Nashville. I'm going Nashville, especially Bob Roski in that. They just beat Florida with Drigger in net. They're going to lose to Florida now with Bobrovsky in net? It doesn't make sense. Um, Carolina, I'm going back to Carolina here. Uh, I was uh, When I found out the Rhymer was in, I got off of uh, Carolina. And, and my, I gave that to the pa uh, my, my client, pa patrons, clients. Uh, when I found out that Carolina was or if I'm at the Rhymer, I just don't like Rhymer as a goaltender. I don't think he's a very good goaltender. I was off of Carolina, and Dallas did end up winning. I'm going to Carolina, though, with Nedeljkovic in, in assuming it's Nedeljkovic. Uh, it should be Nedeljkovic. It better not be anybody else. I, I, Brendan Moore, I love you, dude, but would you stop it with all the other goaltenders? Every once in a while, throw in a... Mrazic or whatever. Now, Nedeljkovic is your man, man. Come on. I know you're watching right now, Brindy. Like, come on. We'll talk later, all right? I'll call you. Okay. All right. Uh, yeah, so Carolina. And under five and a half with Nedeljkovic in, after I just talked so glowingly about him. He's a fantastic goaltender. Oh, Arizona just about scored. 
Um, okay, so if that's what you were looking for, there you go. I'm going to quickly look at our games from last night. But uh, I gave you the picks like I do five days a week. If you want them seven days a week, go to the Patreon. Have a great day, those that don't want to stick around and listen to how we lost money. But for those who do, here we go. Let's go look how we lost money today. Okay. Oh, Kings. Okay, we didn't lose money here because I switched. I had Ducks puck line until I found out that Stolars were, was in net. And then I went Kings and the under. So we did actually do well there. Uh, that was for medium or whatever. It was for decent pearls there. Uh, Sharks versus the Coyotes. I got Coyotes for large. I need them to score two, one here, tie it up and score in overtime, which they can't. It's Cole and Ash. Cole and Ash is not a good goaltender, Coyotes. I guess Kemper crapped the bed a little earlier or their defense, whatever. I didn't watch the beginning of this game. But we did have the over, so we made up a little bit on our loss there if it happens to be a loss. I went with the Flames here, but I also went with the under. This was a wash. Uh, switched to the Blues PL when I found out that Johansson was in, but I had large on the over, five units. It was 4-1 after the second. I do believe they screwed me last time doing this too. It was something like that too. 3-2 or something, and they couldn't score a goal in the third. But... I think I was over six, so really it was quite a bit under. At least we could have got a push out of it. Uh, but I lost quite a bit there. The Blues, I think taking the Blues on a unit only gave me half a unit. So I lost like four and a half units on that. Not nice. Uh, Senators versus Canucks. Sa Canucks, you're done. You're done, you're done, you're done. You can't beat Holberg with, okay, the, the Canucks and the Senators just flew across country. But the Senators were a home team. So they got to go home, take care of family business. All the Canucks have to do is get off the plane, go to bed, get ready for the game. If you're a player and you're going home and they just came after a long road trip, there's usually stuff you got to do at home. Now, a smart move would be you, don't, you take care of everything after the game, and maybe that's what they did. But the fact of the matter is, Hogberg is playing. The Canucks need this win, and they can't come up with it. You are done. If you can't win this game, you're done. Anyways, I had the under two, so it was a wash. No, it wasn't. I had large on the Canucks. I thought that's right. Uh, so I'm down more unit, the more pearls there. Uh, I, I had the over here, and. I told you I got off of the Hurricanes when I found out that Reimer was in net. So we didn't do bad there. Uh, had the Predators here. However, I have to, when I found out that Drigger was in, I went over to the Panthers. I wish I wouldn't have noticed that. So I ended up losing it. If you would have got my pick last night, though, you would have took the Preds on my video. It wouldn't have been good to be a Patreon member for this pick because I switched to Florida. And I went the under, though. But I had the bigger... Yeah, that's right. It was a wash. Oilers versus Jets. We had the Oilers and the under. It was a wash. I forgot to put this as a higher bet when I found out that... Um, oh, what's his name? I always forget his name. Anyways, he's out for the rest of the season. I can't remember his name. Tell me in the comment section. Remind me. Freaking awesome winger. Just boom. Right out of my head. Gone. So that's how we did. And there's your picks. And I'm going to go to bed now and enjoy uh, uh, some some fine uh, programming on the television until I fall asleep. You guys are awesome. Come to my show tomorrow. Three, two, five. Oh, no. San Jose just scored. So I'm, I'm pretty sure I'm down some money this time. But doesn't happen often you guys know that because you watch all the time why is that showing here that's my show actually there you go nhl playoff push discussion for all teams and picks 
competition frolic. That's my show right there. Go check it out tomorrow. I want to see you guys. That's your homework for tomorrow. Come enjoy the fine programming at Pearls of Wisdom Industries there from 3 to 5. Okay? Okay. Have a great day. That's my full 42. Okay. Bye.